All right, well, it looks like the guys finished moving this dirt back. I wanted it moved back in anticipation of this big rain event. I didn't want this to be filled in with soupy mud. So I had them just move the dirt back. Now some of it was moved back here. Hello, Black. And this last little bit, I instructed them to dump back on the other side, which is where I would have preferred them to put it all. Uh, I don't know whose decision it was to put it here because there's plenty of backfill for this wall but there's very little for that one over there so all this dirt that was moved here is going to have to be removed and put over there I'm going to go down and check and see what was accomplished or not accomplished. Hello, Blackie. On the Flapia pits here. I'm trying to get this set up and buttoned down a little bit in anticipation of this storm coming. And I asked the guys to go through and clean out these pits, and they did. Looky there. Beautiful. They did a good job. I had them uh, just bring the King Kong that was in that third pit and just bring it back up here and put it in the pond. Uh, these fish up here needed a lot more than those down there. We'll be harvesting those in a couple months anyway and we'll have to relocate it so why not just do it now. The pond is pretty much drained down as far as it will go. And there's no more water coming out. So that's the high water level to this drain. So this the beginning of this, the old drain, went about as high as that right there. So it's about eight inches below running out of that spillway six even maybe even six six to eight inches Who, who's counting so at least we have a little bit of reserve here for this heavy rain that I'm expecting only thing now is I want to go down and I want to check and see if they had time to dig out this ditch a little bit down here you know it's, it's actually still a little bit coming out there Well, that's fine. I'm just going to leave it. Just leave it drain. It's actually going into this pit here. Well, now that I look at things, it's going into this pit, but it's also going underneath. It's also going underneath this tarp and it's bulging it out from the bottom up not only this one but this one as well it's just floating the tarp out similar to what happens during a rain so I'm gonna block it off so it'll quit going underneath the tarp do that right now much left to come out of the pond. Now I'll go and see what's going on down there at that ditch.
Those were the two of the three things they had to do this evening or after lunch. And that was clean these out. Clean these out and uh, and dig this ditch out. And Marcel wanted her she wanted those trellises done up in the garden today. Let's see if they got down here, if they got this far. To me, it, two guys, it'd only take them an hour to get that net removed and they had five hours of four hours of time so to me they should have had plenty of time to get over here and get the stitch dug out and I guess I'm just an optimist because they did not they didn't touch this all right well I'll just have to do it myself tomorrow I'm I'm finished asking people to do stuff twice. And I can't wait until Monday. Tomorrow's Sunday. They're not going to be working. So I'm going to not. I'm I'm going to go up and see if they just didn't understand clearly and went and started the trellises after they got through. Cleaning these weeds out. I'm hoping that's the case. Because if they're going to try to get me to believe it took two guys four hours to clean these pits out, when I've done it myself, by myself, in three hours, I'm going to be a little bit upset. So let's go see. Rainelle has also cleaned those pits out and it took him about four hours by himself I'm trying to remember it took him more than an afternoon but regardless two guys No. This is what Nero had got done before. This is what he got done in the 30 minutes after lunch before I grabbed him. <sighs> you just have to expect that if you're not there watching and helping, that they're just going to dog it. They're going to work at the little old lady pace. All right. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.